Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about another species that's quite common from the from the shore point of view. It's one of those species that, especially as a lighty, um, I have fond memories of catching, fishing with a light little tackle, just flicking around in the shore break. They are uh, very, very prominent little predators, pretty much along our entire coast. They go all the way up into the Mediterranean. And this, of course, we're talking about the sand stenbrus. Now, the sand stenbrus is part of the whole stenbrus family, uh, the Lithognathus. So this is Lithognathus morimarus. Mor mor Something to that extent, you'll see the correct spelling upstairs. Um, it's a pretty much just a miniature version of your, your biggest stenbrus. Um, overall sort of a goldy, sandy kind of color. Um, extended mouth in the front. They have these very uh, prominent bars that sit from the top sort of saddle their way down and that helps with the camouflage they have in their, their habitat. So they live only on the on this over sand and you're getting them sort of in that shallow water down to not really specifics but down to about 20 meters you could say. They use that coloration, that goldy color plus the bars to blend in with that dappled light that you get in the shallow water plus the obviously the color of the sand and then the barring. It just they if you've ever dived around like that often you'll be swimming around and the next thing you'll see something shoot off and it's one of these little sand stem brush. They just blend in so so nicely into the bottom. In terms of sizing, they do get up to about 50 centimeters, which is a giant. We don't get them here. We're very, very rare to get here over, say, 30, 35 centimeters. Normally, uh, down to about 20 is the kind of the sizing that we get them. Um, as I mentioned, small mouth, similar to your normal uh, stem rust, where you can actually protrude it out. And they use that to, to feed on the bottom, much like the rest of the stem rust. They're picking stuff off the bottom, blowing it out of holes. Um, but they're not as they don't have as much of a developed vacuum as your your normal your west coast or your your standard stem brush. It's not going to be blasting through like that. Now, in terms of feeding, as we mentioned, you're looking any of the small crustaceans and things like that. Little fish, not really, but larvae, um, worms, so polychaetes and annelids, any anything like that, copepods, anything that's going to be able to get out of the sand, that will they'll feed on. Um, you mentioned the camouflage, they feeding on any of that bottom dwelling, the bottom dwelling organisms, and it's in terms of targeting them, your natural baits and small little baits are going to be ideal. This is one of the species that's really, really taken off now recently with your your FIPS angling. So that's that almost like feeder fishing, but in the sea. I'm sure most of the guys have heard about it by now, and it's a species that you really need to look at targeting if you're in that field because you can rack up points very quickly. Because they shoal together, you can get double ups um, almost on every cast. Um, so it's one of those species that you uh, that's really important to look at. Now, otherwise, if you are gonna look at, at catching them, your light little spinning tackle or your Scarborough, anything like that, and fishing in um, in that shallow water with small little prawn or prawn or choco baits are probably gonna be the best bet. That's gonna be the two, two baits I'd go with. And yeah, as we mentioned, you can catch them double ups or triple ups, depending on how many hooks you're using. But yeah, the sand soldier, um, in sand stem rush, it's a quite an important species on our close inshore waters. And it's one of those species that's uh, actually quite, quite a lot of fun to target. Cheers.